All right, gang, we're back, and it's still Saturday morning. Saturday morning for most people means it's grocery shopping day. And for us, that means it's time to check to see how prices are doing. Because remember, Joe's got inflation in check. It's coming down. Joe seems to forget that the reason inflation is up is because of what him and his party did. And as you all know, we do this once a month this year to debunk the inflation's getting better crap, <laughs> right? So we're going to go into the same 10 that we've looked at each month this year so far as to what's going on at my local Walmart Supercenter in Middlesboro, Kentucky. I compare the same 10 items at the same store each month around here, the, roughly the 10th of the month, to see how price inflation is. So let's take a look at these, all right? The first one we have is bread, okay? Your typical loaf of white bread, Walmart brand bread. And all year, it has been $1.32. It has not moved from January, February, March, April. It's been the same price, okay? So... No inflation, no nothing on it. Good. Okay. Milk. Milk at the beginning of the year was $3.48 for a gallon of Walmart brand milk. Last month it dropped to $3.22, and this month it's still at $3.22. So for the course of the year, the price of milk is down, and since last month, it's flat. Okay. So at least we're not seeing any changes there. Eggs, all right, this has always been the, the fun one each year for, or each month for us to look at because in January, 18 eggs were $6.04. Okay. They came down in February to four forty two. They went down further in March to three ninety two. Guess what? Here the day before Easter, eggs are back up to four forty. It's kind of funny because usually the foods that you have for a holiday, those are on sale, right? You know, like Thanksgiving turkeys or Easter hams. You think Easter eggs, the prices would come down. Nah, they went up 48 cents since last month. Okay, it's four cents an egg. Or no, I take it back, three cents an egg. There's 18 eggs. Butter. Uh, butter is was 4.48 at the beginning of the year. 3.98 last month, 3.98 this month. So still the same. All right, we'll deal with that. I'll, I'll take flat, okay, at this point, because I'm not expecting to see prices go down, that's for sure. Coffee. Coffee was ten ninety two at the beginning of the year, nine ninety two last month, nine ninety two this month. So still fine, okay. Lettuce, same thing again, $1.98 at the beginning of the year, dropped to $1.68 last month, and stayed at $1.68 this month for a head of lettuce. Grow your own lettuce, guys. It's easy. Okay, there's nothing to it. And uh, at $1.68 uh, a head? No. Okay. So then we get into the last four of them. Honeycrisp apples were $1.83 in January, $1.83 in February, $1.83 in March. 206 in April. Hmm. Price is going up. Interesting. Granted, it's not apple harvest season, okay? But it wasn't in January, February, or March either. Just saying. Okay. Ground beef. Ground beef was 376 a pound for the 7327 stuff in January. Jumped to 396 a pound in February and has stayed there ever since. So, you know, we're paying. $4 for 25, 23% or 20, 73, 27, 27% of fat. Okay. You know, the stuff that you pour down the drain when you're done. Yeah. Okay. Three ninety six a pound. Chicken thighs. This is being, this is interesting. And I mean, I don't want to hear the bird flu crap that they were trying to push it on. All right. Chicken thighs were $2 and 56 cents a pound in January. They were $2.96 a pound in February. 
stayed the same in March at 296. They are now 348 a pound. So yeah, chicken is getting more and more and more expensive. We are almost up 30% in the cost of chicken thighs this year. Okay. Two liter bottle of Coke was $1.88 in January. It's been $2.68 ever since. So overall, and take a look at the chart here. Overall, it would cost you to buy one of each of these $36.70 this month. Okay, It cost you $35.47 last month. So groceries are up at least these 10, what we're using as our litmus test. Cost of groceries are up 3.47% month over month. Now, in January, these 10 things would have cost you 38 and a quarter, and they're now 36.70. So you're, from the beginning of the year on, groceries are down 3.5%. However, I want to give you this one. Take out eggs, because remember, eggs were $6.04 at the beginning of January. And that was just outrageous prices. If you take out eggs from this, and I know this is being selective and, you know, fudging around with the numbers, okay? But if you took out eggs from everything else, the combined everything else is up 2.37% year to date. Just saying, okay? So... No, Joe does not have inflation under control. Food inflation is still flat to up. Okay, this is it. So when you go to the grocery store and you're looking at these prices and you go, this still sucks. Just know you are right compared to what we saw at the beginning of the year. We're now four months into this. Okay, Food prices are not coming down. Joe, Joe's lies about, oh, I'm getting inflation under control. I'd like to know on what, because it ain't on food. It ain't on rent. It ain't on gasoline. Gasoline went up 40 cents a gallon here in the last week. Okay. So where these funny numbers are coming, I have no idea. I mean, what are they, are they going, well, look, you know, Skis are down this month. Well, of course, it's April, you know, if they're figuring that out, or ice skates or something like that. You know, winter coats and snow shovels and snow blowers are down. Oh, okay, you know, and so inflation's down. Now, if you look at the staples that Americans buy, power, gasoline, and food, we are not seeing any relief. Just kind of want to look at this over and over and over again every month because... I thought I'd do it quarterly. You guys want to do it monthly. So we're going to look at it monthly and see what we're actually paying in the store. So that's just the latest update for the middle, or, you know, first third of April. So, all right, guys, I'm getting to work. We'll see y'all tonight. Have a good Saturday afternoon. Be busy. Do something fun. Do something productive. If you can do both of those things each day, it's a good day. Go out.